Hello fellow drawers, how is it going? My name is Valerie, I am a self-taught digital artist. So today we are talking hair. Now in case you're unfamiliar with me or my art, there it is. My art style is pretty detailed and heavily relies on line art and hair rendering is a crucial part of my liner. I have touched on how I render hair in my line art tutorial video, but I've been seeing people asking for a separate hair tutorial video. But, but, but I don't really know what kind of deeper explanation I can really provide for how I personally draw hair except for what has already been said in that line art video so today i have compiled a list of five big mistakes that artists make while drawing hair that can really be ruining a lot of their drawings and although we all know there is no such thing as mistakes just happy accidents but this uh, was definitely a mistake and not a happy accident because i am not happy about it thank you anyway so let's get started with mistake number one which is hair lacking structure i wanted to start with this one because the structure shape and the direction direction of the hair should be the first thing you think about before coloring, rendering and all that stuff. I was saying in my liner tutorial video that when I think of hair, I think of it as if it's the hair on an anime action figure. And action figures are made of plastic or vinyl, which means that they are hard and that the hair is also hard and made of very clear, hard 3D shapes. You can clearly see those shapes, you can point out every chunk and the entire silhouette of the hair is very dynamic and also readable because of those strong shapes. Notice how there are no individual messy little hairs exactly forget about drawing the hair with individual little hairs think in big strands and chunks think of it like well, if my drawing had to later be turned into a 3D figurine, what should the hair look like? None of those little hairs or unclear blurry shapes will be able to be captured in a figurine. Only clear solid shapes. You can add some smaller details and smaller hair and sparkles and stuff at the very end of your drawing, of course, but that's just for decoration. You shouldn't be thinking about it while actually building your hair. Clearly define the direction of your hair. Which way is the imaginary wind blowing? Which side is the hair swinging. If the hair is very long, it can swing in curves and zigzags, and if the hair is short, then it should have a very readable shape and silhouette. So for hair references, we don't look at Barbies, we look at anime girls. Now let's move on. Tip number two is drawing too much or too little hair on top of the head. When you are drawing the head starting with the circle, this circle is supposed to represent the skull of the head. And a skull is something that should be taken into consideration when drawing hair because the hair grows on our skull. So when you draw your hair something like this, think to yourself, is there enough room for a skull and a functioning brain underneath this hair? Isn't this character's cranium a little too small for a human and also our skull is not round all the way around the cranium shape is a little more elongated if you look at it from the side so the hair cannot end here do not chop off half of your character's brain please and there is also the opposite issue where people draw hair so voluptuous that uh it doesn't look right and there is a big difference and it is very easy to tell when hair really does have a lot of volume to it or when it's something like an afro hairstyle when the hair is just structured that way versus when the hair just doesn't have any structure doesn't know where it grows from when hair grows on top of hair and the skull is being buried like somewhere deep underneath this mess every hair strand you draw should be growing from the skull not from other hair strands or from thin air when you're adding a hair strength think where is it growing from try connecting it to the skull and seeing if it makes sense tip number three watch your hairline this one is kind of similar to what we just talked about but the way so many artists when trying to draw in anime style and giving bangs to every character they draw just forget that there is a forehead underneath those bangs and the hairline that these bangs grow from and so often you see this drawing where someone draws a character with bangs and leaving these little gaps in between the hair strands that really reveal to us all the horrors that they were probably trying to hide with these bangs and people get confused like but what if i want to give my character some long bangs but the fact that the bangs are long doesn't mean that the forehead underneath them is just as horrifyingly long please no the bangs are made of layers of hair and what you see as the beginning of the bang is just the top layer and if you lift it up then you will see that the very bottom layer actually starts from the hairline so please check on those gaps in your bangs and how much skin is being revealed in those gaps because that can really save your pretty 
POC from looking like Pennywise. Tip number four, black liner and white highlights, or simply having too much contrast in your hair and how much it can ruin the hair even if you had good structure and everything. If the hair is not dark, the line art and shading should never be black. Don't give light hair black line art. And don't give dark hair white highlights. White highlights are only possible if your hair is A, white or close to white, or B, super oiled up, which I don't know why you would draw some really dark shadows and white highlights are usually only possible on super reflective surfaces like metal, glass, latex. Hair is obviously not made of any of these materials, therefore it cannot reflect light like that. Yes, you can put highlights in your hair, but don't make it white. Make them like a shade lighter than your hair color and make the line art and shadow color also match your hair and be a shade darker and not total black. Of course, there can be exceptions to this rule. There can be art styles that this high contrast might work for. Most animation art styles look like that. They use black line art and white highlights, but that's because animation is about quantity and animators try to simplify simplify their process as much as possible so one episode of a show will not take like 10 years to make and choosing different colors for line art and highlights is just more work it takes more time but if you're not in animation then try taking some time to just color your line art and see how it looks tip number five hair not matching style and detail level of the character this one is quite quick and simple the style should be cohesive throughout your character if your character has a simple cell shaded cartoony style then the hair should also be cell shaded and simplified do not give it like semi-realistic shading with highlights, small details, and undertones. That will look wrong. The rendering level should match all the parts of your character. Okay, and a bonus tip number six, hair strands don't always have to get thinner towards the ends. This is also a small one, but I cannot not say that because I remember when I was a beginner, I felt really confused and didn't know how I was supposed to draw the hair because I thought that every hair strand should go like, you know, from thick to like too thin. For some reason, I thought that that's what hair looks like. And I see that in other beginner artists' work sometimes, and hair doesn't have to look like that. There is no one shape that a hair strand should look like. It can look like this, or this, or that. Or it can get wider and like flare out towards the bottom. It doesn't have to just get thinner. I just thought that was something also worth mentioning. Um, so that's pretty much it. Those are all the tips I've got for today. Let me know if this was helpful, and if you enjoyed it, I will try to come up with more tips like this in the future, hair related or not. If you agree or disagree with any of these tips then feel free to share your opinion in the comments and also if you enjoyed this video press like subscribe you can check out my art on instagram kara or here on youtube shorts i have a bunch of other videos and tutorials like this on my channel so you can check those out and good night good day goodbye